Hi guys, so today I wanted to do a see for yourself review of two foundations. Now if you're not familiar with my channel, um, I mentioned these a while ago but I think this is my first one because I've tried to do a couple of products and it just went wrong. Um, but basically the see for yourself reviews are going to be when I do a, a review of a product, I can't speak today. Um, but instead of me just coming on camera and telling you what I think, I'm going to try to let you see for yourself by showing you like um, comparison pictures. So for instance, today I've done a review of a foundation, so instead of me just coming and telling you what I think, um, I applied the foundation, took, found, took pictures when I first applied it, and throughout the day and then at the end of the day, I think I just about, sorry. Um, and then I'm going to let you guys see the pictures and see for yourself what you think. Now, I'll still give you like my opinion, but by showing you photographs, then you can, I don't know, just get a better idea of whether you think it's going to work for you. Because what works for me and my skin type might not work for you. And I don't want to tell you, oh, this is great. Um, but then, you know, you look at the pictures and you think, well, actually, that looks a little too matte for me or whatever. So this way you guys get to see for yourself. Um, also, I know that like some people worry about people on YouTube promoting products or, you know, speaking up about speaking up just that talking up talking up talking up i'm gonna go with that talking up products that um maybe actually aren't that good i'm not being sponsored for this review but just just know that with the see for yourself reviews you're always going to have the opportunity to like scurry it you know and decide for yourself basically but anyway um the first um foundation i'm going to talk about is the um revlon photo ready i've just realized it's still got the paper on it Maybe I should take the paper off. Nah, you can read that. Revlon Photo Ready. Um, and I was actually just going to do a review of this foundation. But um, when I film videos, I like to use a full coverage foundation. And so I use another foundation, which I'll talk about, which is um, this one. The Estee Lauder Double Wear. Sorry, the packet's dirty. It's really weird because the package of this one's dirty. But then I like opened it and it's got like an unused one in it. So, like, this is full, so I don't, I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, um, yeah, so I was filming, like, in between, like, filming this. Not in between, because I did it all in one day, but basically another day. I was filming, and I was using this, because it's full coverage, and I like to use it when I'm doing videos. Although I'm not wearing it today. Um, today, I feel like my, like, I'm, like, all over the place today. Um, but anyway, I'll tell you what I'm wearing then. Anyway, so I'm filming, I like to wear this, and... Basically, um, it was just such, I was so impressed with it that I decided that I would do like a comparison video, not to make one look bad and one look good, just to give you an idea, because they're such different foundations, some people are going to like one, some people are going to like the other. So, the first one was the um, Revlon Photo Ready, and I, I was going to say I'm in the colour, but I'm, it's not the right colour for me. The colour that I have is Cappuccino, I'm not actually sure if they do a darker colour, I meant to go look at this before I start this video and I forgot. So if they do a darker colour, I'll write it in the bottom bar like they do 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 do. They, they do a darker colour. Um, and if they don't, I'll write they don't just so that you know. Um, but yes, I wear the colour Cappuccino and it's this colour. As you can see, it's really like super orange and it comes out kind of orange. Um, I have yellow undertones in my skin. So I do tend to wear colours that are on like the yellowy orange side of, in terms of brown rather than like the reddy brown but this one's super orange and when I put it on my skin like when I first started blending it it looks orange but like with a lot of foundations they kind of like adapt to your skin and when I start blending it out working it out it actually ends up um like more my skin color um however why I will in fact let me put in some pictures now of what it looks like when I first apply it so you can see Hi guys, so it's 7 a.m. just past 7. I put my makeup on at 7. I'm on the way to the station and I'm going to film and take pictures of my makeup throughout the day. And we will see how it holds up. I'll insert some uh, photographs when I get into some good lighting so you can get a really good look at the makeup throughout the day. I'm going to have to, uh, I'm gonna have to find a place for this to take a picture, which is going to be interesting. But uh, yeah, you'll see me in a couple of hours' time, I guess. Okay, so that's what it looks like when I first apply it. But for me, it's like a medium to light coverage foundation. When I first started wearing this foundation, um, I was really impressed by how much it blends into my skin. and just looks really skin-like and natural. It's not cakey. You can barely tell it's there. I work for a cosmetics company, and when I 
I went there the other day and I had my camera with me at lunchtime and one of my friends was like what, what are you doing with the camera and I was like oh I'm taking pictures of my foundation because I'm going to do a review and she was like I couldn't even tell you were wearing anything so it's very very um lifelike skin like foundation I hate I hate when you're wearing foundation you can just tell that someone looks like they've got a layer on their skin and with this you absolutely don't get that um it's very like the consistency of it I apply it with my fingers because it just like melts into my skin and it just looks very very realistic and skin like so that's a plus for it is that it's really realistic um, it's also um, photo ready meaning that it has an SPF 20 a lot of like photogenic foundations don't have SPF this has SPF 20 so that's a plus and you you can see from the photos and see for yourself and decide for yourself but I haven't noticed it casting me like any weird shadows or anything um, you know like you get that white grayness sometimes with foundations um, I, I think this one is photo ready personally but that's for you to decide um, the colour range is limited because, like I said, I got this colour. I'm usually the darkest colour in most drugstore foundations and I'm, like, I don't know if there was a darker colour, but if there was, there would have been a reason that I didn't get it. Like, it would have been too dark for me, basically. So, limited colour range. If you think that you're sort of this sort of colour, then um, you might get away with it. Although, like I said, it does melt into your skin. If you're only after, like, a really, really light coverage, chances are that you can... The less foundation you put in, the more easy it blends to your skin, basically. So when I'm using this as a light coverage foundation, this colour is actually fine for me. Um, so the first day I wore it as a light coverage foundation. And this is what it looked like at the end of the first day. So you can make your own thoughts on that. For me personally, um, if you look at the photograph, I... If you go back and look at the photograph, I have um, like acne scarring, and for me, the acne scarring was showing quite a bit. This was about the first picture was taken at seven in the morning, and the last picture was taken about like eight, nine at night. So it had been on for a really long time. Um, however, the next foundation I'll talk about, I did wear for the same amount of time, so it's still like a good comparison. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just it, it, the acne scarring for me is definitely showing there. Um, so I don't, in my opinion, I'll give you my opinion, but you can see for yourself and decide. In my opinion, it doesn't wear very well. It doesn't wear very long. I should say as well that I have oily skin, especially in my T-zone, and I just feel like it disappears really, really quickly. Um, but I think that it, it looks so realistic and skin-like. I think that's kind of the compromise. So if you want a foundation that kind of um, lasts a bit longer you may have to there must be something in the longer lasting fuller coverage foundations that gives them that artificial look um, so this foundation I really 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 love for when I'm only going out for like not very long like less than four hours um, and I just want to look really natural so I would wear this like when I start university again if I just got like a couple of classes in the afternoon I want a bit of extra coverage um, but I and I don't want anything that's gonna like I don't know some thicker foundations are just like it's just like a, a layer you know like cake on my skin and this one doesn't feel like that at all and you can barely tell it's there like I said my colleague was like I didn't realize you were wearing foundation so I love it for that also it's um quite affordable I should say the price I think this is $9.99 um, in like Superdrug or Beats which I think is really really good the other foundation oh, again I haven't looked up anything properly but the other one's a lot more um, and yeah so it's really affordable which again is great because you know if it's coming off you don't and you're going to have to be re reapplying it if you choose to wear it all day then you don't want it to be really expensive because it's going to work out expensive so this foundation I like but only for short periods of time and I really really want a natural look um, the second day I kind of I was like let me try something so the second day I decided when I wear this usually I use like one or like one and a half pumps the second day I decided what happens if I put more on so um, I used like two pumps the second day and I put it on and um, to be honest I'll show you what it looks like so you can decide So that's it before um for me it was really orange like when you use more the orange color comes through because it's more opaque because you're not spreading it thinly so it's translucent it's like opaque and it, i just felt really orange and kind of stupid um and i didn't i'll show you the pictures at the end of the day
so for me i feel like i can still kind of see that because i have like my skin's really bad at the moment um but i have kind of like acne scars like like um like little dark marks and for me they're definitely showing through even when i tried to wear more the other thing about this foundation is it's not good for layering i think it is made to be like a you know medium coverage um like light foundation it's not for heavy wear because what i like to do with foundations when i want really really full coverage is i will um put the foundation on leave it five minutes let it set and then put another layer on sometimes not it depends how thick the foundation is if it's like not a full coverage foundation i'm trying to get it to be higher coverage that's what i'll do so i tried that with this many times before and it just doesn't um it moves basically it doesn't set really like like before i used this foundation i was using revlon color stay and that dries like because it didn't have a pump which is why i switched to this foundation with that one you pour it on your hand and um Oh, I used to pour it on my hand and then put it on from my hand and by the time I'd finished there would be like a stain on my hand like a dry stain of the foundation which it would come off with soap and water but it was like a stain this is like the opposite like it just it moves um so even if you like let it dry and come back and try and put another layer of foundation you're just gonna wipe off the first layer when you're putting on the second one so I don't know it's great because I feel like it's breathable and it's really silky smooth and it like melts into your skin but at the same time it, there's there's no staying powder pow, powder power so that's up to you to decide but for me this is a light coverage short wear um very realistic looking foundation so i'll still you know um keep this just for instances where i'm like just going to the shop or something and i don't want a face full of like i hate when i'm wearing full coverage makeup like having to take my makeup off at the end of the day is just like such a drag so this is perfect if i'm just going to lunch with somebody and i just want to or i'm just going to dinner for a few hours it's just great for like a brief casual event but not for like all day long wear foundation that's my idea you go back and look at the pictures and decide for yourself because i don't want to you know dictate but that's just my thoughts on it this is going to be such a long video all my videos are long i like explaining things fully i'm sorry if that annoys you but i i would prefer to do a longer video and really like explain things to give people a proper idea um but i will do a post on this on my blog if you just want to like read it really quickly that's what i'll do that's my compromise and um, so foundation number two this one was recommended to me, I can't remember by who, well I think it was recommended to me by my mum, a lot of foundations I just get from my mum, because um, you know she has more experience and stuff, but I was also um, watching Nuba, I think it is it Nuba XO, I'll link her channel below, but she's great, she's like, I just love her, um, and she swears by this foundation, she loves it, and so I decided to try it, and it's the um, Estee Lauder Double Wear light this one's the light one which is pretty insane to me because they do like a um i was on like the bloggers chat um last sunday night on like twitter and somebody else recommended like this they've got like an even heavy duty one than this which is like insanity to me because i think this is like super heavy duty um if you're looking for like a really intense like all day foundation they actually do like a, a, a heavy duty one than this and i'll put the name of that below because i can't remember it but this is a double wear light foundation and the light refers to the consistency of it rather than the color obviously i mean hello um yeah and this has got spf 10 so it's not as not as protecting as the photo ready um so yeah i will first give you the pictures of no here's the thing Here's the thing, because I didn't intend to um, do a review of this foundation, I just did my makeup and then at the end of the day I was like, damn, um, I need to review this. So I just took pictures of it at the end of the day. So I actually don't have, oh my neighbor's being loud, I actually don't have pictures of when I first put it on, but I feel like that's kind of irrelevant because you, you can see the pictures of what it looks like at the end and if that's what it looks like at the end you know i feel like people don't care so much about what it looks like when you first put it on it's you know how it lasts i mean it 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 does matter what it looks like when you first put it on to see like the color and everything but it looked the same at the end basically um so i'll show you the pictures of what it looked like at the end of the day this was probably a, a, a good again eight hours after i'd first been wearing it i was filming like loads and loads of videos and then i did some other stuff and was uploading and stuff so this is what it looked like at the end So as you can see, um, oh, a little note that I should say is that because I was filming videos that day, my eye makeup and my, 
<laughs> my blush is like really intense because I sit in front of a window here and I was filming during the day and then I have a lamp on me as well um so it like washes out the color so I know that I look like a drag queen but it's because um I mean I was just wearing full like heavy makeup that day anyway and then extra heavy like I would never go out of blush that red just in the daytime the blush I'm wearing if you're interested is like a Oh, why do I mention it if I don't know? It's the Barry M blush and it's in the colour number 5 and it's freaking insane. I love it. I will link it below because I'm in love with it. And it's so, so, like you only need a tiny bit and it comes out that vibrant. But, um, but yeah, that is like full coverage foundation. It's the foundation that I was wearing in the videos um, that I did, which are like 10 favourite, 10 products I would repurchase tag and the university supplies you haven't thought of video. So, yeah, if you've seen those videos, I don't, my makeup's full coverage, but it's not like crazy, like my blush doesn't look crazy. That's just how much I have to put on. So, yeah, I feel like it's still like compared to the Revlon photo ready pictures from the end of the day. Um, obviously, like I said, I'm going through a bit of a thing with my skin at the minute. But um, in terms of like the dark, you can see the spots because it's foundation isn't going to cover like physical bumps in the skin. But in terms of the colouring, the pigmentation, I have like dark marks from where I had acne scars when I was a teenager and you can't see like really the dark marks in that photograph um and yeah it's just like it's insane how much it lasts and like I said I wasn't even planning to do a review but I was so impressed with it so in terms of the actual like everything else um first of all the first thing that struck me about this foundation when I went to buy it was um the size of it this is what it comes in it comes in a little tubey which I actually mentioned in my um how to pack light video because i like this tube because it's so i mean this, carrying this in your bag compared to this and in your makeup bag is like so much more convenient it feels lighter i guess because this is glass um and it's a lot more compact so i like that the thing is this is supposed to be 30 mils now apparently um because i went to the lady at the counter and I was like can I try it and she gave me this and I was like what's this can I have a big one she was like that is a full size one and I was like what that's like the size of every foundation she was like yeah standard foundation comes in 30 milliliters all foundation comes in 30 milliliters this is 30 mils so according to that lady this little tube is the same as this now I don't know actually looking at it now I can kind of imagine it because I guess like this is just the lid so it's like hold on it's like that versus that but I don't know I'm still kind of I mean this is is this the unused one let me show you the unused one so you can see it a little bit when it's not squeezed out it just doesn't seem like a lot of foundation so this is the unused one and then versus like this much foundation I suppose it could be the same when I think about it but it just feels like you're getting cheated especially because with it being Estee Lauder this is expensive I can't remember the exact price it was about 25 pounds I'll put the exact price of it at, I don't know like a department store or something below obviously the price is going to vary depending on what you go but it's about 25 pounds which is pretty expensive 10 pound 25 pound but I mean out of the two I do prefer this one because it's much much longer coverage like you saw from the photographs in terms of consistency um it's a lot thicker than the photo ready um and I can't put this on with my fingers it's too thick it just doesn't work so what I like to do is I use um a flat headed brush from elf which I think I'm going to do a review of those soon as well so check that out um but yeah I put it I actually I was watching a video here on YouTube and it was Kim Kardashian's makeup artist and he recommended that you take an old CD and then you put your foundation on the CD, this looks kind of gross, but you squeeze it out onto the CD and then you use your brush to like, you know, um, swirl it around and then you can slip it onto, that's what I've been doing with this and it does work really, really well. Also with this one, it does dry solidly so I can do like two layers and when I say two layers of foundation, it's not like two thick layers, I take a stippling brush, you know, stipple it on so it's like really light coverage leave it to dry and then you know do another lot so I probably use about two pea size amounts of foundation which with it being so expensive I feel like that's kind of a lot um but it's a really really good foundation and I would and I will buy it again um in terms of how it photographs if you look at those um videos I mentioned the how to pack light and the university supplies not house pack like university supplies you haven't thought of and uh, my 10 things I would repurchase I actually mentioned in the beginning of one of those videos um, how I looked grey 
um, and it was mostly because I it was night time so there was no natural light and then I had a lamp on me um, but also it was basically this foundation does kind of you can tell you're wearing makeup basically um, but in that video it was like en enhanced by the fact that the lamp was on my face um, so it looks even worse so don't I mean you can check those videos out but don't take that as that's what the foundation looks like because um, it's not that bad like I wouldn't wear it if I felt like the first you know everyone who just looks at me is gonna be like foundation it wasn't that bad but um, it's definitely just not as, as natural looking as like it's just like a typical full coverage foundation you know what I'm talking about the look that's like it's not like scary like you know and it's not crazy grey Oh, I could hear something, um, but it's definitely, I don't know, it's definitely, I feel like it would give me like a grey, not a grey cast, but like a slightly white looking picture, so it's probably not the best picture foundation, but for every day I do think that it's, um, it's great and it's natural enough looking, and obviously it depends how much you put on. Use a stippling brush, um, if you're gonna like, I don't know, use like one of those flat brushes I feel like you're probably going to get more of an artificial look I like to stick on my foundation because it lets the skin show through a little bit and just makes it look a bit more natural but yeah this foundation for me is like superstar it stays on really really well um the price is I mean yeah it costs more than the other one but it lasts longer so I'm happy with that price there are some foundations that are like 40 pounds and upwards so I'm pretty happy with this one I love the packaging not only does it look really cute and luxurious but it's practical um, yeah and it's annoying that it's drugstore so you can't get it everywhere my color by the way is intensity 6.0 they're coming in intensities apparently and I'm intensity 6.0 and like I said I have repurchased it this one was actually given to me by my mum and I liked it so much which is why I've got this back up here but this one's not actually finished I think I like panicked and went out and bought another one so it just goes to show that you know I, I do like it I'm not lying um this one there's a little bit left in this I'm probably just going to keep this on standby for um times when like I said if I'm going out to lunch or dinner or something and I just really don't want that heavy coverage foundation and I think in the meantime I'm going to try to find something that's in between these two something that looks a little bit more because this looks so skin like a natural and part of it's because it's not full coverage it's not going to cover every single blemish and dark mark um but it doesn't last long enough for me so I'm going to try and find something that looks a bit more like this but has a bit more lasting pow power and then for like nights out um special events times when I want to look flawless then I'll go for this one so sorry the video is really long I know but like I said I just wanted to give you all of the information go back look at the pictures I'll put the pictures in again at the end so you can see I'll put the pictures of the foundation at the end of the day so you can see um but yeah go back have a look decide what you like what you don't like and yeah I hope that these um videos are good and that you like this kind of thing please come in interact let me know i love to hear from people and let people know what they think check my blog um i'll try it with the see for yourself reviews i'll always try to put the pictures on my blog just in case people are in a hurry and they don't want to because i know when you're looking for reviews you don't necessarily want to sit down for like 24 minutes and you know watch a whole video so all of my see for yourself videos i will post on my blog if you're just looking for like a quick cliff notes and then if you want the in detail because when i look for a review i don't just want like quick notes i want to know every detail because different things are like by different people but if you're in a hurry they'll always be on my blog my beauty blog and i'll link my fashion blog below just because i always do um like I said, my skin's playing up really badly at the minute, so I think that one of my next see for yourselves is probably going to be like skincare routine type products, and I'll take a picture of my skin in all its horrible glory right now, and then I'll take a picture, I'll like use the products for a while, and when something starts to work for me, I'll take pictures after so you can like see that it has actually worked and I'm not just making it up. Um, what else did I mention? And there was like another product that I mentioned that I might do see for yourself of. I can't remember, but all of the information, the prices, the colours, the Barry M blush, everything will be in the bottom bar. I always check the bottom bar. It's always all in the bottom bar. Please, please, please subscribe to my videos if you like them. That would be super cool. And please, please, please comment. Feel free to video respond to your thoughts on this foundation because, like I said, not everyone's going to feel the same. So it's good to get, like, a varied perspective. And like the video. That would be cool as well. I'm going to go because this is crazy long. Thank you for staying it through it if you did that's like really impressive and yeah i'm gonna go and film some more bye